Morning, everyone. Um, or whatever time of the day it is you're watching this. Uh, we got something a little bit different today, a little something special. Um, this is April 8th of 2024, and today there is a uh, full solar eclipse happening that's kind of crossing the United States. And we decided to take part of this to get as close in the middle of the line that we can to get the full eclipse. We came down to Arkansas. We are at the Cove Creek Recreational Area and Camping, and which is right next to uh, Greer's uh, Ferry Lake. Uh, beautiful place. Um, you can kind of see the lake kind of behind us. We're going to be going around, um, show you a little bit. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's that. Um, here we are. I'm Corey Pratt, and this is Craving Cars. Okay, so you know how everything doesn't really always go to plan and one of our plans was there was going to be a lot more video shot during this trip and we had so much fun hanging out with everybody not a lot of video got shot so we have a few pictures to share so I kind of want to walk through the rest of the trip a little bit just to kind of show you how it went we have made it to camp at least one of the campsites we actually uh, kind of took over a couple different campsites as we were there but first thing is you got to relax open it up kick back have yourself a nice drink just to kind of relax, know you're there. View the lake, man, this Greer's Ferry Lake, gorgeous lake, you ever have a chance to get down to Arkansas to see this lake, I, I recommend it. But as the nights go on, uh, we obviously gotta enjoy a nice campfire. So we did just that. You know, a few marshmallows, a couple s'mores made, and you know, maybe another drink or two. But I tell you what, living in a bigger city, it is really nice getting out to an area to see a sky this dark that just so you know, these were pictures just snapped with a cell phone and I thought that was amazing on the amount of stars it picked up so sharp. Well, we come to the morning of big eclipse day and here we are sunrise, which when I say, you know, we, I mean, Kurt of the group, these are a few of his pictures and he had a nice fire going for the morning right down by the lake. I mean, look how gorgeous that is, but we all gathered around here. As you can see, uh, there were, uh, six of us total. We kind of just, all met down here because it would just be easier to view the eclipse from this spot and so that's what we did we just kind of gathered around got all of our stuff set up but we weren't the only ones there we did have a gentleman named jeremiah that joined us and he set out a little bit of equipment for him to view and take some pictures of the eclipse himself but check out his equipment and then there's my setup i know jeremiah was probably a little jealous and here we are the eclipse is upon us here as you can kind of see as it's fulfilling the excitement was growing uh, i tell you what you only got one chance to get these shots and as it's going it just it, it takes a little while it took over an hour to get to this point and uh the excitement was was truly building i have seen the total eclipse before one other time and this was no less exciting to see it as if it was the first time again. And then the time happened and we had totality. Just gorgeous. I'm glad the picture turned out as well as they did. I know there are people that have taken much better pictures than these, but I am very happy with what I had and what I was able to capture uh, to, uh, to have for me to show uh, everybody. They even caught some solar flares in here. But here it is, it's just coming back through. Here's the, here's the money shot. You got to get the diamond and then you get it in different various forms of sizes. I guess you can call these different carrot sizes, you know, being a diamond and all. And this was kind of cool with uh, Kurt taking a few more pictures. You saw the pictures from sunrise. This is during 
totality and it was just kind of cool looking like it was another sunrise or sunset for that matter and here it is coming back the other way it's uh the the big part of the excitement is done but i do want to point out this jeremiah sorrells what a awesome dude he was he was extremely nice please check out his instagram here it is and i want to show you these that that was a picture from this eclipse that he took um with it with his equipment that he brought out there and just check it out it's not just this eclipse pictures he does a lot of really amazing scenery type of shots but a lot of astrophotography they got some nebulas uh here you go here's the witch head nebula i mean that is just it's, it's like he took it out of the book and uh, yeah, there's some galaxies here and there too but check them out j.sorrell's photo on uh, on instagram but we do some activities afterwards but before we get to that let's take a look at this this way and it's going to come all the way out and it's pretty far and it holds all of this and you can kind of see look at that how much stuff we got on there how far does that slide out do you think how many feet is this yeah three and a half four, wow more that's awesome Far. And then, and, and then, and then, from the the connection, it looks like it's it's just attached to the L track, right? Yeah, yeah. It's nice just, and clean. And then it's easy. And then I'll show you something else on the L track if we once we're done this. So this was my add-on for this trip. If you have the legless beds, you can buy these rings to go into the Shushkin slots here. Yeah. And then we bought carabiners so we could hang things. So like I hang backpacks up there yeah. and then my hiking shoes and, yeah, stuff, shoes and whatever stuff. you want. So like for us that works well. So in other words, so you've got the legs that you, fold out, but if you, you can these you, are you basically these, adds you get legless yeah. so that you don't have this. So it's easy to pull things in and out. And then you can attach them. But we leave like our bed down all the time. That's gotcha. Right. And then these we got from Cad Vans, Canyon Vans, right? They're just door organizers. I mean, we still have. There you go. Back. And, and that's just added with all the little miscellaneous stuff. Fit in there. So yeah, big shoes fit. 12s, yep. I know a they guy fit. with big shoes. And then we added the hooks. We saw someone else doing this. We've had the magnetic hooks forever, but it's the first time we added them to the door so we could start hanging. Them. Oh, okay. So you just got some something simple as yeah. magnetic hooks oh, like yeah, there. There you go. Cheap. And then you don't need to And they're real your... powerful, it sounds like, because it's holding yeah. up a bag. Yeah, they're super strong. And you don't need to use your window covers because you got, because yes. we had the roll offs. And you got so the, the roll offs. All the time. Man, I got so, a lot yeah, of sun glare there. Mess with, yeah. The other. Maybe so these are the nicely. different different uh, brand on the no, um, no. If we drop on your the bug screens and privacy really stuff good. that yeah, they have. I never use the rear windows. I use the arrows. And, yeah, yeah. and then you're just using just simple, nice, stackable containers. Yeah, yeah. container store. Yeah, I'm store. a big fan of container store clear stuff. And you know, everybody's got their way of organizing, but we also don't like we don't like to jam too many things in a space. Right? So you like you want to make the space usable still to a to we a point, to easy access. Jungle puzzle down, right? There you go. Yeah. So um yeah, so that's kind of uh we we you know, we have a couple things up top, but uh this is two boxes of photo gear. And then we have I thought about it body recovery gear so like roller and a bunch of other stuff and then hiking gear and then yeah whatever <laughs> yeah. you know so it works and so that basically the, the door just clears that doesn't it yeah so this yep clears it this is shushkin that made this i know some people have gotten them elsewhere this guy is super nice so right here is like yeah just what i hear the coolest guy i've talked to him on the phone just super nice you know you got one that can go here but i felt like it's attracted to have one on both sides i know some people have a full with one, we just didn't want to do that. Yeah, on the back you've got the, the owl van. Yep. Is this owl van? Tire, tire, tire carrier. Tire carrier. And, the spare. Did you take your racks off? and then of course you've yeah. got a. Uh, this is the B2 carrier. That we carrier have. and your one up bike rack. Yep. Yep. With no bikes. But which seems which seems to be the way to go when it comes to. A you bike know why rack, these are like. here? Because someone's caught the corner edge a little too much. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hmm, geez. Baby bumpers I on rely this. on genetics to prevent that. Well, uh, I would show, too, I would show you the guy who uh, usually hits his head, but so, he's hit his head too much. He couldn't make it today. Franz and I call this the decapitator. <laughs> That's something to think about. I, know, I would totally I've hit that clock, all the time. You know, Here's one way as you travel and click stickers. If you 
would like. People put them on outside of cars. Why not put them on outside your uh, storage box? It's a lot of stickers. Drink coffee, do stuff. Well, the eclipse is over. The big main event of why we're out here is now done. But yet our trip isn't done. We have this gorgeous lake. Let's not waste it. And we didn't. So we got the paddle boards out. This was a very clean lake. I don't know if this was considered a bedrock lake or not. I don't know. It wasn't dirty. It was very nice. It's a pretty decent sized lake for paddle boarding. So we just stick to the edge. Um, the waves weren't bad and just had a lot of fun. Just hanging out there for a while. I would have definitely, if we had more time, would have, would have went out there another day and spent more time. It was kind of cool coming back and seeing our vans from the water and uh that that i've never done that i've, I've always paddled before and we would always be parked somewhere out in a parking lot elsewhere and weren't able to see the van as we came back in i know it sounds petty but it's it's just kind of neat took the last few views of this part of the lake and there's your famous van life shot from the inside but we had to settle down for another night and technically speaking, a different campsite across the way from the one we were just at. And yes, don't make fun of the way we park. Uh, there's a reason why we did it, is the most level way to put the van was parking the way we did, and they did not have any issue with us doing that, so we did. Crazy thing is, the last day we were there, it was just cloudy all day, chance of rain, and it was just amazing that we had such a beautiful day during the eclipse. Uh, but we left, we had to head back home, Went around the other side of the lake, got to see some other views of it, and drove through one of the local towns on the outside of the lake. We found a Bucky's on the way home, stopped there, fueled up, hit the road some more, and what do you know, before we got home, the sun peaked out. It was an awesome trip. I hope to get to do this again. Everybody that we met uh, was just amazing people. Thanks for coming out to the event. Thanks for watching. I'm glad we were able to, uh, to make it as well. We didn't know that if we were going to get a site at the time. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, everybody. And uh, until next time, tell your cravers out there, keep craving.